cared about the future of Singapore. And he just didn't look at infrastructure. He didn't just look at the hard-nosed things. He also looked at the soft side of Singapore. It takes a beautiful city to keep people happy, both mentally and physically. And if you are not happy physically and mentally, how are you going to be a productive worker to help the economy? And I think he saw all of this. And I, this is the marvel of this great man. Mr. Lee Kuan Yew didn't just want to bring us to an ordinary nation, but it had to be, we wanted to be something extraordinary. Um, from going to mud flats to not just a metropolis but a green metropolis that sets the way for others in the world as well. To live on his legacy it would be to continue to strive for the best beyond what we think we can achieve at this point in time and to achieve that no matter what. As a teacher, I'll be able to continue to share this uh, passion and conviction with my students uh, and that they will be able to continue to do the good work that he has done together with uh, other founding fathers. Singapore, we have gone through turbulence in the 60s and 70s, and now we are a stable survivor. So forever, Madeka, Singapore. I feel that he has totally dedicated his life to Singapore, making us one nation, and we owe him a debt of gratitude that I, can, that I think can never be repaid. We are very proud to be a Singaporean.